Good morning. This episode is all about tax during COVID. Stay tuned for a great episode with tips. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Minutes, episode tax. 304, COVID tax breaks, uh, especially for home officers. We have special guest, Harry, director at Chartered, uh, Paige Harrison and co Chartered Accountants, and Mark Novak. Good morning, gents. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harry. COVID. What an interesting topic, guys. There's, there's so much due to people working from home. There are so many benefits tax-wise that people are missing and they are a fr- absolute free hit. They're a, they're a claim that if you forget to claim, you will never see that potential back again. So guys and girls, we've got an incredibly smart accountant here willing to give away free advice, which is very rare. Harry, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. No? Yeah. Do you, do you want to just give us a bit, like, how long you, where you, sort of a, a bit about yourself, Harry, how long you've been doing it, where you are, and what you sort of specialise in, and then we'll get into it? Sure. So I've been working in business services tax for 15 years, and we currently oper- operate at Nelson's Point, um, Sydney's North Shore, a chartered firm there, so. And so anyone out there who has a, who should be watching this, what what sort of good, uh, yep. what so, notifying people of? So if, if you're a salary wage earner, like the majority of the population, and you've set yourself up at home, um, you've probably been working from home since March uh, this year. So there's a lot of time that you're spending outside of the office and you're working at home. So um, it's stay tuned because you need to know what methods apply to you uh, to claim the best uh, sort of tax breaks to, to minimise your tax payable at year end. Because, I, Harry, I, I find there's a bit of a disconnect between, and, and I mean this with utmost respect to the accounting industry, but I think, you know, if, if an accountant has uh, a couple hundred clients, two, three, four hundred clients, I find as a client I, do, I often don't know what to ask or I don't know what to yeah. push for or what to claim. So yeah. I'm sure my accountant has sent me 30 pages or 50 pages regularly to, to read that I don't read, so I don't know. But I just wish my accountant would poke me poke me more and say, hey, have you claimed this? Hey, have you claimed that? And that's a little bit about, I guess, what today is about, just to poke people and remind people of what they potentially could claim. Yeah, look, our firm was set up in 1961 with the impression of providing a unique personalised service to clients. And and that's what we do. We, we sort of look at your situation and, and give you advice to specific to your situation so um you're right i mean people don't have time accountants don't really have time to be discussing every single situation with each client um, at at length so it's important that these videos come up that uh, people can watch and and apply to their situation yeah right so where do you where would you like to start what's probably the biggest biggest thing somewhat that's happening now with COVID, the biggest change, uh, something that probably would impact the most amount of people and how and what it is? Yeah, so the biggest change obviously is, is working from home. Um, so what can people claim? So let's just say uh, you're working from home from March um, and you've got all these receipts, you've purchased the desk, you've purchased the lamp, you've purchased the monitor like everybody else. Um, even a chair and, and so forth, um, and you set yourself up in an office. Um, that, that's critical to set yourself up in a designated work area, because that's one of the well, that's one of the uh, the points where you can actually claim the actual method of receipts. Um, because if you don't have a designated work area in your house, so if you're working out of the out of the living room or the kitchen bench top because it's convenient for you you can't really apply the actual method so all of the invoices that you purchase during the year are irrelevant because you don't have a designated work area 
So really just try and identify oh, an area, like a landing area that you can say on a floor plan, this is my area, it's this big, um, or a spare room, label it. So would you identify, right. do they ask for like a floor plan or is it just you may need it to show it? But no, you, you, don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need a floor plan, but you do need to demonstrate that you've set yourself up with a desk, you've got shelving, you've got your files there, um, you know, it's it's... It belongs to you. Nobody comes and goes regularly, so it's it's your office. That that's the definition. And can you claim so, sort of all of those expenses? Is it a minimum max rule of thumb, or is it sort of just? Yeah. So with with the furniture and, and fittings, so there's a threshold of three hundred dollars. So anything over three hundred dollars needs to be depreciated over its life. Um, so over time. But anything less than three hundred, and it's for your work office, then you could you could claim it outright, yeah, entirely. Depreciation five years. Well, it depends on the item. It depends on the item. Each item has a different rate. Um, so best to speak to an advisor, and we can guide you in in that. So. And okay, so, so that's right. Sorry, um, retailers have a really good way of expressing um, giving money back or getting getting money back the tax department doesn't so retailers call it cash back or right. retailers you know like instant rebate um whereas all effectively this, hey all these catchy terms and marketing logos and slogans yeah. now the ato is doing the same thing it's a cash back it's an instant rebate sometimes or whatever but it's not marketed that well and it's not understood widely um, yeah. But this is what you're talking about today. You're you're pretty much saying, guys, we can give you cash in your back pocket, um, virtually, uh, you know, within the next financial year, straight stroke straight away. Um, but all the people, it's about having the knowledge of, of actually what is claimable and, and not claimable, which we're going to drill down on further further today. Exactly right. Yeah. They don't have to be the employee to get these benefits. It's just under their normal um, tax back that they do. They don't have to be set up as a company no. or an ABN or any extra sort of hassle that way, do they? No, you don't need you don't need an ABN or a company set up. Uh, you just need to. You can be a salary wage earner and working from home, and, and the deductions apply to you against the income that you've been paid from your employer. So yeah, there's no need for an ABN or or company set up. Perfect. Okay. Now, if if a let's can we use a real life working example? I've just set up a monitor uh, for two hundred bucks, a desk for three hundred bucks, a chair for three hundred bucks, and uh, anyway, I've got up to a thousand dollars. I've spent about a thousand bucks on my home office now. I said I've designated the area. I've sticky taped it out and told the kids they can't go within that area. In my head, I've, I know that area. My wife knows that area. How much of that thousand dollars that I've spent am I going to get back into my back into my pocket uh, when I claim it this financial year if I do it proper and effectively? Sure. So the monitor is less than three hundred bucks. So you could you could write that off um, entirely. Yep. Um, the yep. the furniture and the desk is. Not less than three hundred bucks, so you're going to have to depreciate that. But the, the real tax break or benefit comes back to what your tax rate, personal tax rate, is. So it depends on what your assessable income is at the time. Yeah. Okay, so just just if you've just got so no tax to pay, then there's really no benefit to you. Yeah. Okay, so just to break this down a little bit, guys and girls who are watching. If you, if you know how much you spend on tax, for instance, you may spend 30% of your gross earnings on tax or 40% or whatever that may be, that's the amount that you're talking about getting back. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, so that, will, that will really appeal to a lot of people who are an employee. Uh, an employee. Uh, where do we want to talk about a business owner? Because I know the breaks sort of open up widely with an or where do you want to go before we do can i just you know that thousand dollar example harry we just spoke about yep can i just finish off on that so oh. i earn 
eighty thousand dollars a year. I pay what percentage tax would I pay if I'm earning eighty thousand a year? Oh, it's uh, thirty-seven and a half cent, roughly. Okay. Yeah. So, I, so I've just I've just gone out and spent a thousand dollars, and assuming that I could claim all of those things. I know one was over 300 bucks, so that's, but assuming I could claim all of those things, yeah. I will get back out of the thousand dollars I spent. Your tax rate, correct. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's huge. That's, can you yeah. imagine a yeah. shop yeah. saying big, you're going to um, get that back? Saving, yeah. And so we all know a lot of people have done it. So a lot of people are in this position. Yeah. So it's really sim It's keeping your receipts. Now, what happens if they bought it? before COVID, they bought it last crisp, uh, they bought it a couple months before, is it, they could yeah. do it, still Doesn't do matter. it? matter. Yep. Yep, no, it won't matter. Okay. Now, what, what else? Yeah. So a bit, where, where, what else do you want to speak about on, do you want to go now to, a, that's a real uh, sort of entry level, your mum and dad's working from home. Do we want to talk about the benefits now for a business owner, running a business who buys machinery, cars, that type of stuff now? I've got one more question. Yes. <laughs> Can I ask one more about the about this furniture? What about and you know, okay, we've just done the bread and butter one oh one. Okay. Like we've we've given the example of you know, someone's been pretty modest. They've gone and they're working from home the last six months and they've spent they've spent eight hundred bucks on their fit out, five hundred thousand on their fit out. How ballistic can someone go? In their home office fit out how yeah. how like crazy can they go can they go out and buy a conference table <laughs> worth three thousand dollars from the white room in Narrabeen or a two thousand dollar chair well yeah I mean there's there's no real limit to it um, as long as you can demonstrate that it's for your work office then yeah there's there's no real limit um, but wow. when, when, you're, when you're looking at, you know, things like, you know, artwork on the walls and paintings on the walls, you know, for tens of thousands of dollars, then it's obviously going to come up with grey areas. So um, yeah, you, you yes. just got to be wary of that. Yeah. So where do people go wrong with this in your, in well, your experience? Yeah, where, where they go wrong is they don't have the receipts. Um, they can't demonstrate payment has been made out of their bank account because they can't find the actual payment um they don't have invoices um all, all of that so um when they don't have that they have to revert to cents per hour method which is a much lower claim for them working from home so you know from march you could claim 80 cents in the hour that you've worked from home that's you know you don't have any receipts whatsoever um but that that's yeah that's what that's where people are going wrong they don't have the supporting information Okay, and if they do pay cash, make sure you get that receipt and keep it. They don't have to demonstrate how they got the cash; they just have no, to. Pay. No, it's, no, it's just to demonstrate. This is this is an expense deduction, so no one's going to ask you where the money came from. It's it's understanding where the money's gone, where you know what invoices you've been provided with, and, and so forth. Okay, because I'm a bit of a nerd um, for retaining receipts. Is there any app? that you recommend as, as an accountant that you can say, this is what my clients do and love. I personally use a thing called Evernote. And if ever I want to keep a receipt uh, for tax purposes, I email it to my Evernote account or I scan it to my Evernote account. What apps do you recommend? Yeah, look, we, we, scan, we scan sort of files for employees on our system. So it's on our server. So we don't really advise of any apps i'm not aware of any apps to, to be honest but uh, yeah we we scan all the receipts on our systems so we've got records of them so it takes away the, the sort of uh headache for clients to make sure they've kept the receipts because we've got them for them so does the client send it to you straight away they buy yeah, it they, they send the receipts to us um uh, when the return's ready to be logged so we keep them all on our server okay yeah but i'll lose that shit yeah, by the time it comes a year around. Yeah. So I think oh, forget about it, I lose it, I do that. So well, you know, send I, it to I find it straight away. 
Uh, would your accountant get angry if you did that? No, not really. No, they would. They would just save it straight into your file or folder and, and record it for you. So. That's a good. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon that's a. I reckon that's a really good. Um, yeah. It doesn't sound like anything's been invented, but I. I, I think to. Um, to do that, remember that re- to retain, because I think mm. a lot of clients do wonderful deductions, but you just simply mm. forget about it. Yeah, or um, and it would be great as well. Um, setting up a Dropbox account for your personal work uh, office costs or tax receipts is a good idea that's too. That's a good hack. Yeah, yeah. and you can great... share it. You could share your Dropbox link. That's with right. Your... That's what people do. Yeah. They share the Dropbox account with their accountant, and they can both access it at the same time. Or a WhatsApp group, Mark. We love our WhatsApp groups. We use currently. We've got. I got about two hundred groups on WhatsApp. So, create a WhatsApp group with your account. Take the photo. You install it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But also, uh, you know, it just reminded me there was a grab that I, there was an app that I stopped using because I went over to a great accounting package. Um, but when I was on MYOB, I struggled with what we're talking about. I used an app called Expensify, and yeah. Expensify. Uh, read the receipt uh, and Expensify added up the monthly receipts and then by the end of the financial year I had 12 added up months and I gave that to my accountant and said here's the link and it gave him all the receipts and all the money added up for that year yeah Expensify so guys Tips, tips from today. If you do not want to uh, forget about tax deductions, streamline it, uh, or even use. And you know what I also do, Harry. Um, I use one credit card for deductions. If I know something's deductible, yeah. I'll use yeah, that's that right. credit card. That's right. Yeah. And if, if it's not, if it's personal, I'll use the other credit card. And then yeah. I'll have twelve credit card statements to give to my accountant at, at, <laughs> at, at the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, because we don't want to do 15 minutes, do you want to go a little longer to get in more detail? Do you want to do another one at, with a higher level of conversation made for business oh. owners? I think this was a big oh. market very on a very simple structure, but really informative for people to bring it aware. But as you know, there's so much yeah. to talk about. Yeah. If if Harry's up for it, I wouldn't yeah. mind because, and I'd love to know people who are watching yeah, if they've we, got we any could, questions. We could, do another, we could do another session for business owners at, at another time, sure. Perfect. Yeah. So, guys and girls, if there's any questions you want to ask, um, Harry, feel free to ask away now. Uh, we're even going to dedicate another series to uh, to business owners, depending on those questions that come through. Um, yeah. Because awesome. we didn't. Yeah. Because we didn't get to the the renting the room out or the land tax, or could that be done in the next couple, two, three minutes? So, what do you rent-, mean rent your room out. Renting yeah, a room out. Quickly about renting the room. So depending on who you're renting a room out to. Because uh, I just had that in one of your, your email, Harry, renting a room yeah. out to family and land tax. What is it? How is it calculated? Yeah, so so with, with land tax, it's assessed on the 31st of December. So if and there's, there's a threshold of 755000 So excluding your, your main home. So if you've bought investment property um, over the last year um, and you know you own a million bucks in, in property or over 755, you need to register with the land tax office because uh, it's a self-assessment system. Um, you don't want a nasty letter from them later on to say that you haven't registered for land tax. So it's important you do that and we can help you with that if, if you need assistance. Perfect. Alrighty, I think that's a wrap. Anything else you want to add, Mark? Harry? Yeah, I want to do one. I want to do one on the um, uh, next session. I want to do one with you, Harry, on um, renting rooms out at home. Yeah. The tax, you know, the tax effectiveness, because we can even tie that back to your home office. Um, the home yep. office, you could rent, you could rent part of the area of yep. your house to your home office to minimise well, your tax. Yeah, that, that's happening a lot with COVID too, with you know people struggling to, to earn extra income and the yields are low too, so they're looking at additional ways to, to, to raise revenue. So, yeah, certainly. Perfect. Awesome. All righty. Thank you, gents. Thanks, everyone. Right. Watching. Harry, thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. thanks for your no. time today, your legend. Hopefully it helps some people save some money. No problem. Look to catch up again. Yes, definitely. All right. Thanks, legend. See you guys. Cheers, man. Cheers, bye. Cheers, bye.